So what I meant about trying to make things visually come alive and using visual metaphors as well as be as as uh, verbal metaphors and and uh, create uh, spaces that okay well I can give the person like it's like suddenly Michael White speaks through me for a minute and I'm thinking about externalizing the problem but I'm not just thinking about externalizing the problem as saying Mr. Alcohol is attacking this family what can the family do to confront Mr. Alcohol but actually creating a living metaphor for externalizing the problem and then creating it's a kind of a little bit like a computer virus and so if you can create a visual image that's just a little bit garish and you want it to be a kind of computer virus you don't want to make fun of the patient but there's nothing wrong with being a little bit ironic with the problem and so then the person can get an externalized picture and the, that externalized picture is hard to escape from it's easier to escape from words than it is to escape from images and then to create an image of what the goal is so that the person can begin to interiorize that and be able to see what it is that they want in a representational form and the symbolic nature of human beings is just so great that we respond avidly to gestures and this is part of our sociobiology and reptiles respond to gestures they're, 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 this is uh, you know in the deepest part of our brain as social animals we need to respond to gestures and birds well they respond to gestures and uh, mammals dogs for example well they respond to gestures and this is so deeply embedded in our core and if we said that problems solely existed in our medial prefrontal cortex we would just be able to think our way out of the problems and we wouldn't need psychotherapists so when we think that problems probably exist in the lower reaches of the brain then perhaps it's wise to use some techniques that reach into the lower areas of our brain like for example gestural language and uh, try to use that gestural language to empower people to do the things that they promised themselves so hence the idea of doing the sculpting and making the um, stage into a little bit of uh, making the therapy room into a little bit of a stage in which we can enact a symbolic drama of change